Hey there YouTube, Lator Awesome here and welcome back to Pokemon Volt White Version. In the last part, we took out the Pinwheel Forest and got to this really cool looking area with this awesome view. And in this part, we're going to go through this door and talk to this person. Because in battles, training versus essential, so we get a quick claw. Yay, I'll put that on somebody slow when I get somebody slow. Okay. Um, oh, yay, that said that we beat Lenora. So, uh, if you cross the Sky Arrow Bridge from here, you can reach Castelia City. So that's what we'll be doing. And the Sky Arrow Bridge, I'm pretty sure, like, everyone's favorite part of this game. Or at least one of their favorite parts. Because it's so cool. Look at this. Of course, it slows down on an emulator. Because, uh, it's like... Stuff. Actually, this is how it is at normal speed, but I can't run and super speed at the same time, so I'd per Actually, this is a little bit faster, and it gets the music going. Actually, <laughs> now it, I can do it. But look, look at the perspective changing, and I'm so tiny! You, come here. He's searching for the exact center point of Sky Arbor Bridge. I think it's right there. And then it like changes and there's all these ships and there's stuff down there. And then you get the skyline coming. And it's just awesome. Yeah. Um, I know that's probably in like every single Let's Play. People just like going nuts over that place. But it's so cool! And now we're here! In Castelia City! The land of a city of grandeur that makes everything slow down <laughs> um because it's so huge anyway this guy what oh this guy will give you leaf stones fire stones or water stones uh he's in regular black version or black and white version where he gives you one of them uh it's meant to correspond with whatever monkey you got so i'll do that because i oh wait yeah i got the pants here uh in blaze black foot white he gives you six of them um and then he just tells you about stone evolutions real quick. Okay. Um. But yeah, this place slows down a lot, as you can tell. So, I tend to ride my bike here and play at super speed, because that's pretty much just normal speed. Um. Anyway, Castelia City here is huge. There's a ton of stuff here, obviously. It's the first real city in the Pokemon series. Um. And then it has, like, skyscrapers, and look, there's a Pikachu picture up there. Uh, that's the Pokemon Center. Uh, this is based on the Manhattan area of New York. The whole Unova region is actually based on, uh, New York City. Like, well, yeah, because it's, like, split into parts, and who said oh no? Anyway, I love this, because you can just, like, walk down the street and run into people, and they don't, you, like, go through them. Um... <laughs> Sometimes they step aside, but... He's alone and looks lonely. I was reading a book to him. Zerua. That's a Zerua. I'll cover it when you come go catch it! Um... And this guy's blushing, and he's like, Zerua can turn into people. And this guy's blushing and saying silent. Gee, I wonder what that is. Anyway, there's elevators here! You have to hit A to go into them. I'm just kind of showing off the city. Um... Oh, this is Game Freak up here. Uh, and that, yeah, that guy, if you become very strong, he will have a battle with you. That's gonna be, like, the last thing I do in this game. <laughs> um, anyway, this is Game Freak, and, you know, they always have an office in every Pokemon game, so it makes sense that they're in a building in the city in this one, I guess. Um... So, yeah, I'm basically just going to be exploring Castelia City in this part. Oh, she massages your Pokemon. You know what, Link, get a massage. <laughs> yeah, uh, that actually does raise a Pokemon's base friendliness, so if you have a Pokemon that evolves with the happiness evolution, that's a good thing to do, get a massage. Um, yeah, so she's useful. Um... This guy gives you the TM for rest, which is fun, I guess. Um, 
Then he talks about berry combinations. And that guy's like, look everywhere, you'll find items. And that's pretty much why I'm looking everywhere in this city. Uh, yeah, I highly recommend it. Once you get to Castelia City, just go everywhere. Um, there's a ton of stuff to do. Like, a ton of stuff to do. Um, you, landscapes with people and Pokemon. And that guy has a studio. Uh, the vending machines are here. You can buy fresh water, soda, pop, lemonade. I'm not going to because it takes a while and I'm lazy. Um, and this guy. He'll fight you. Yeah, um, this is kind of a mini event that takes place in Castelia City. Uh, and it's sort of an event. It gets you an awesome item. Let's just say that. Um, and I recommend you do it as soon as you get here, because it's useful, uh, I guess. Um, anyway, this is the... There's three dancers spread across the city, basically, and uh, you have to take all three of them out. Uh, you start with this guy, because... Is that my phone? Yep, that's my phone. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. What was I doing? Oh, Mach wants to learn Quick Attack! I don't want you to learn Quick Attack. You don't need... Oh, no! Keep old moves. Thank you. Give up on Quick Attack. Oh, normally consider it, but he's got a good move set, and, well, his speed is insane already, and he has a speed boosting move, so priority moves not really necessary for Mach here, and I'm guaranteeing that I'm going to get another phone call while I'm recording this. Because life. Anyway, <laughs> um, what was I doing? Fighting this dancer Mickey with his grottle. You know what, grottle? You're not going to get flame charged, because I'm pretty sure I'm at max speed, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Anyway, this guy is like, it'd be tighter if I had a group, so we can groove as a team. Because apparently he's a den, he's a, <laughs> he's a disco man from the 1970s. But we'll do what he wants. Wait, this is the wrong street. This is not the right street. I mean, it, all the streets are technically right, but I want to go down them in order. And, Wow, I'm running, walking really, really slowly. Um, is it Tuesday? Ah, uh, yeah. On Tuesdays, you can buy the Castelia cone, um, which is a hundred poker dollars. I think it cures all status conditions. Yeah, but it's I I like never do it because oh, he wants to paint a fire type. I have two of those. Wait, what? I was mashing A. Ah! Oh, well, I guess that guy gives you a pick of berries if you have the right thing. Cherry berry was probably a terrible choice, but considering I don't use berries, like, ever, um, probably not gonna make a difference here. Uh, this is the Battle Company. Uh, I will be covering that in a different video, because that's long. Uh, well, maybe this video. We'll see. We'll see how long things are. Okay, that guy's like, yell at the ocean, and this guy's like, that black boat, it looks all mysterious and stuff. I'll actually be getting into what that black boat is in the next, uh, Blaze Black special, which will hopefully be uploading the same day as this one. Um, I'm not really sure. Uh, I'll have to see if I can, like, make it actually work. Um, but we'll see on that. Uh, you talked to... Come here! Okay. He didn't even give me anything. No! <laughs> I keep mashing A too much. Oh, you! He wants... You were great in Pokemon lessons? What does that mean? Dancer Raymond. Oh, well, you're the fire-type guy. So that's pretty perfect, actually. <laughs> and my fire-type against the grass guy, and my water-type against the fire guy. Unfortunately, I don't have a grass or an electric guy to, or type, to fight the water guy, because, hint, hint, 
See how one has all grass starters and the other has all fire starters. The other one's gonna have all water starters. Yeah. So, <laughs> water is not exactly a type I enjoy fighting around. Ooh, Aqua Jet! Um. Shoot. I'm actually gonna say no to that, too! <laughs> no, not forget. Keep old moves. Uh, Aqua Jet is a priority water type move, which is physical, and Link is physical, but at the moment he has Razor Shell, which I prefer. Um. Of course, Aqua Jet would have come in handy right there, but I kind of like keeping Link with a special attack right now because I don't have any special attackers just yet. Uh, I'm planning on three of them, three special, three physical. Uh, Link and um, Mach are both physical. Um, anyway, he went off to join the dance team, and now I'm going to switch my fire type up to fight the water types because pro. That is literally my only reason. Um, walking so slowly. Narrow Street. What a creative name. I never would have- WHERE DID I PUT THOSE SUNGLASSES?! On your face. Ah, I found them. Really gotta have more light to see your way by. It'll help you see in dark places. And it gives you the TM for Flash! I... I don't... Yeah. I don't have... I don't... Nah, uh, that guy talks about melodies. That guy talks about crying. And this guy gives you something. TM48 Round. Round is a very strange move that powers up uh, the more Pokemon in your party that have it. And this guy's like... The dancer. Yeah. Um... Who apparently won't dance with someone who's who won't dance unless someone is stronger than he is because he don't dance and if they don't dance then they are no friends of mine that's a song I don't really know what it's called or who sings it or how old it is but I'm guessing old so yeah oh a do what why didn't I have my do what go in and fight this one Mirror match would have been fun, but you know what? It's part fighting type. Peck. Go. Um, and yes, I am aware that I'm super over leveled at this point. Uh, but actually, by the time I fight the next gym leader, you'll realize that no, no, I'm not. Just not. Um, mostly because my team is. Actually, no. I'm. I have one trouble with the with the next gym leader. Uh, you know what? You can get Razor Shelled. I don't use it much because it has low PP and not perfect accuracy, but it looks cool. So, yeah. And a Croconaw. This will be fun. Um, pfft, use Bite on a Fighting type. Yeah, I will eventually stop being so high leveled compared to everything else. Uh, anyway, the dancers have now all left the. Wait, no, I didn't want to switch out. Shoot, <laughs> that was a waste of time. Um, you, creepy dudes, smirk. Who says smirk out loud? And that guy just doesn't even laugh. I don't know what's up with them. They're weird. They're just gonna have to deal with it. You. Thanks, man. I got the best team in the world here. That's how I feel. And you get an amulet coin! That is an incredibly useful item. Which I... Okay. Um... Amulet coin. It doubles the prize money, so I gave it to Mach. Um... Where are my repels? There they are. I figured out how to move them, which you can't see, because it's not on screen right now. I don't even know, really. Um, but now we're heading down this street, the final street that we have to head down. Oh wait, no, 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 because there's an event down here and I don't want to do that quite yet. I want to go up this way, where there's a desert up there, but I won't be covering that quite yet, because you can't 
get anywhere right now. You're just, like, blocked. Um, and while there are new Pokemon there, I don't want to cover them in this particular video. Yeah. Um, there's a daycare on Route 3. Yeah. Okay. Um, this guy gives you the Eviolite. That increases the defenses of any Pokemon that can still evolve. Uh, very useful for a Pokemon like Porygon 2, for example, um, who already has great defenses and, well, since he can evolve um, now into Porygon Z, uh, he gets even better. So, yeah. Ponygon would have loved that thing if it had been around. Oh, the badges you can get. <laughs> um, Trio, Basic, Insect, Bolt, Quake, Jet, Freeze, Legend. The only partially creative ones were Trio and Legend. And even those were not very creative. Yeah. Uncreative badge names. Definitely. Um. But. Whatever. I guess. Uh, this is the last building I wanted to show off, I think. Um. That, the feeling reader? I don't even know. Um. Alright, this guy right here. Name Raider. He can give your Pokemon a nickname if you want. My Pokemon already have nicknames, so don't need to change them. Um, it's a clown. And a scientist. What? That guy apparently has a special machine that has a password. I've never seen anything about it. That guy's Mr. Locke. He's a magical clown who can open anything. Also don't know what he does. I've looked into this a little bit, trying to figure out what the heck Mr. Clown, or Mr. Lock the Clown does, or what that guy's secret password does, but I've never actually seen anything. If you know... Cool. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I went and talked to that dancer. He doesn't do anything. Whatever. Now we're on this street. Let's see what's in this building. Nothing. Except, what's on the second floor? More nothing. So, just a completely empty building. I'm sure it has no significance whatsoever. There's nothing that's possibly going on here. Yeah. Uh, gym leader's test is the bond between a challenger and a Pokemon. We're challenging the gym. You want potions. Okay. But anyway, here's the gym! He's an insect artist, and Charon just ran into us. Hey, Lator, I just challenged gym leader Berg. He's a seasoned gym leader. He made me work for that bad. But for me, bug-type Pokemon aren't much of a challenge. Yeah, I guess not with your rock-type and flying-type. Okay. He wants to be the cha champion, and Berg just magically appeared! I mean, Berg, not Bird. <laughs> You're the one who fought Team Plasma. If I remember your name is Lator. Yes, I have come to challenge the gym. But Team Plasma showed up and they're at Prime Pier. Yeah, Team Plasma shows up all the time. It gets old. Like, fast. It's th this is not Prime, pr prime Pier, is it? It's in the size of the heart. That's cool. Um, <laughs> I guess. Alright, Pokemon, great if they're fighting what? Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Most of the docks are pretty useless. Um, this section really slows everything down. Passerby Analytics ASQ. No, that place is annoying. Trust me. I've been there. It gets on my nerves. Wait, where's Prime Pier? There it is! Oh no, it's her. Team Plasma took Bianca's Pokemon! They took her mana! That she caught in the dream yard, clearly. Question marks. She lost the thief. Iris! Her name is Iris, apparently. Yes, I know who she is. Shut up. Um, <laughs> it's really nice when people and Pokemon are together, and we'll have to go get it back. And Wait, what? Hey, look! It's Team Plasma who spied a gym leader, and he thought he'd go and steal another Pokemon. Then he runs away. 
Hey, Berg actually chased after them. And Iris is going to stay by Bianca's side. And Yeah, so Bianca got her Pokemon stolen and we have to go get it back. Because we need a Team Plasma event in every single city, apparently. Okay. <laughs> Berg just, like, goes running after them. Hey, look, there he is! And there's the... There's that building that had nothing going on. What's your problem with taking other people's Pokemon? Think about how a Pokemon feels when it's being used by a pathetic trainer. Okay. Whoa, I just moved over there! No one's here, not a soul. Not other Team Plasma members or any of the Seven Sages near inside. Nope, don't think you're lying. <laughs> you can just say no! I didn't... <laughs> um... I'll take care of their weak-looking runt. You can show off by... Wait. Berg's the tough-looking guy? What? Berg is not in any way tough-looking. I disagree. You're wrong. I forgot to heal. I don't care. Look at their levels. Look at mine. And then look at the Old Spice guy who's in those commercials. I don't know! <laughs> um, a Volop... By, oh my. Um, double kick. Because, why not? Well, that didn't do as much as I wanted. And that didn't do as much as he was expecting, apparently. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Oh, hey, look, a cacnea. That, that's a cactus. That I can burn. Yes. Anyway, uh, you have to fight one Team Plasma Grunt here. And Berg takes on two of them. Bad, 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 bad for Team Plasma. Or Plasbad for short! Plasbad, it's so funny. And he has to go report to the Seven Sages who are definitely not in that building. Because he said it. Even with the X transceiver, she had a pro- What does the X transceiver do? That doesn't make any sense. And then Iris drags Bianca along somehow. And we go in and there's three of the seven sages, including Batsis. Batman gets us. My word, if it isn't the gym leader, Berg. <gasps> so what did you say is the guiding principle of team wait, what? Take what you want from people? Hideout right in front of a Pokemon gym, but we were detected more quickly than I imagined. Even though you weren't here before, and now I'm having Mickey Mouse have a conversation with Batman. Indeed. No matter, we already have an exceptional base of operations. Is everyone familiar with the legend of the founding of the Unova region? I am! It's the White Dragon type Pokemon, right? Oh, no, not another long speech. The truth is this. The White Dragon appeared before a hero who sought the true way to knit together a world full of many warring people. <gasps> ah, that hurts my voice. This White Dragon type Pokemon shared its knowledge and bared its fangs at those who stood against it. Together, the power of this Pokemon and the hero brought unity to the hearts of everyone in the land. And that is how Unova was created. Ow! Hold on. I had to drink some water there. We shall bring back the hero and the Pokemon to Unova again. If we can win people's hearts and minds, we can easily create the world that I, I mean Team Plasma, desires. Okay. And here in the city, everybody's different, and yes, what is it? What? One thing that we all have in common is that we all care a lot about Pokemon, uh-huh. Wait, what? Berg was at the Accumulus speech? No, you weren't. You were not in that crowd. Definitely not. I don't know how to do that laugh as Batman. Yeah! I guess. You were quite hard to figure out. A little more intelligent than I'd expected. I'm fond of intelligent people, you see. You'll enjoy hearing about this. Oh, come on! From every corner of the world, I have gathered knowledgeable people for our king's benefit. You could call them the Seven Sages. Very well. We will submit to our opinion and be on your way. That was the wrong way, but I don't care. That girl over there, return to Pokemon. And her mana just comes floating back. I don't know how Bianca lost it, because it was in a Pokeball. 
but whatever. <laughs> the friendship between Pokemon and people can be very touching, but in order to liberate people, Pokemon from foolish people, we will ah, we will revive the legend of Unova and win the hearts of minds and everyone. Farewell. Finally, you left and stopped talking. What are you doing? Why are you letting them get away? Gah! What do we do if anything's happened to the other stolen Pokemon? It's okay, thank you, Iris. No one was hurt. More than anything, I got my Pokemon. Yeah, these this gym leader is completely incompetent. Let them get away in the forest. Let them get away here when, you know, they're right there in your city. Ah, and Iris is going to be Bianca's battle bodyguard, and she's a dazzling Pokemon trainer. But not at home in the big city. Okay. And she gives us a Yachi Berry, which lowers the power of Ice-type moves when they're super effective. So, kind of weird. Well, wait! So, yeah. And Berg will be waiting for us in his gym. And we get a Smoke Ball, which was not there when we went into this building before. So, that's going to do it for this episode, because my voice is killing me. Um, anyway, next time we'll be taking on the Battle Company, uh, because it is, well, fantastic. Um, oh. Yes. Okay, um, <laughs> I guess I hadn't been to this Pokemon Center yet. Uh, because that girl was there and she's like, Geonet, and I'm like, I don't know what that is, and I don't care. Um, I think it's that globe up there. What? I don't know. Anyway, um, that's going to wrap it up for this part. In this part, we explored Castelia City and had a run-in with Team Plasma, including Mickey Mouse and Batman. And uh, in the next part, we're going to be taking on the Battle Company. And that'll probably be it, because that'll take a while. So, yeah, I will see you guys next time.